It is Friday, May 12th. This is News 8 Now. I'm David Bowman. Governor Kim Reynolds signed 10 bills into law yesterday, including one that changes the way Iowa dairy producers can sell milk. Iowans can now produce and sell raw milk, which needs to be sold with a warning label that says it is not subject to state inspection. The city of Muscatine companies and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are working together on improving the Muscatine Island levee. After 10 years of studies and planning, engineers are now looking to raise the, a three-mile stretch of the levee by one foot. They also want to add a hardened structure downstream that would lay over all the sides of the levee in an area near a pump house. The upgrades are supported by federal funds and Muscatine County. If approved by the Army Corps of Engineers, planners hope to start construction in the fall. It is a steamy day in the Quad Cities, and we could see more rain this weekend. So let's check in with meteorologist Andrew Stutsky for a look at your Mother's Day weekend forecast. Yeah, David, the humidity sure has made a big comeback today. A very muggy, sticky feeling to the air. That's going to continue as we go through the night and even into tomorrow. There will be a couple of scattered storms this evening, but overall, there will be many dry hours to be found as well with temperatures falling into the 60s tonight. Tomorrow, though, we need to be on guard for some potential severe storms. That's going to be later in the day. We're going to have some sun at times before then that will build in that storm energy. Right now we're at a threat track level two out of five. Everything from large hail up to two inches in diameter. Gusts, wind gusts that is up to 70 miles an hour and a few tornadoes is possible between four and 10 o'clock tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. So now is the time. Make sure you've got that News 8 app or the Storm Track 8 app ready to go. You've got notifications and alerts enabled to get you through the storms that will be coming in for tomorrow. You can also get a sneak peek at the Mother's Day forecast too by tapping the app. David. All right, thank you. And college students in Iowa may soon see the price of their education go up. That's according to the Iowa Board of Regents, who met yesterday afternoon for the first reading of a proposed tuition hike for next year. For University of Iowa students, that tuition could go up by an average of $305, Iowa State $304, and UNI students $285. I mean, we're, we're continuing to be affordable for uh, you know, middle-class Iowans. Uh, we're actually, in real terms, after inflation, we're cutting tuition because our increase is less than uh, the inflation rate. The board is scheduled to meet again June 13th and 14th to decide whether to approve the tuition hike. Rock Island County employees are taking home a piece of courthouse history. County employees given bricks from the torn down courthouse yesterday afternoon. One man tells us it's nice to take a piece of Quad Cities history home. I got some nice ornamental pieces and I'll keep them at home and clean them up and put them around my property someplace where they'll be uh, probably there for the next 100 years. And Don tells us he spent 34 years working as a corrections officer at the courthouse. That's all the time we have for News 8 Now. Be sure you stay in the know while you're on the go by downloading the News 8 app in your Apple App Store or on Google Play.